Police in Bridgeport are trying to shake loose some clues in a hit and run that badly hurt a two year old boy. News Day Stephanie Simone is live in the city with more on the hunt for a suspect. Stephanie. And Darren, police spent an hour out here at the corner of Capitol and Main passing out these flyers, stopping cars, trying to get any clue as to who the driver was that struck two year old Corey Gordon and left him. Very good. Thank you very much. Have you heard about it at all? Yeah, I got two. Oh, you, you got one over there. Great. Thousands of these have been handed out. So far, no leads. All while two year old Corey Gordon lays in a hospital bed. He's talking now. He can't walk yet. We're working on that now with therapy. Um, he's like a regular kid. It was three weeks ago today when Parmley says she went to get Corey out of the car. He was holding her hand. She went back in to get his baby sister. The car struck him and took off. But if that happened, to their child, I'm sure they would want somebody to step up. Police say they've checked surveillance video from area businesses. They can't find evidence of a car or a suspect. Now they're hoping cash will do the trick, offering a $1,500 reward. Meanwhile, Parmley finds strength from her child. He makes me strong. His smile. When he calls my name, that's, that's what keeps me going. She even pitched in, passing out flyers, holding on to hope Corey will recover and justice will come for her family. Hopefully it does. All you can do is pray. That's all. Parmalee says tomorrow her son will have surgery to replace a part of her, his skull. Before this accident, he was talking, he was walking. She says they have to start all of that over again. He's learning how to do all of that over again. Police say if you have any information, you're asked to contact Bridgeport Police. Your tips can be anonymous. Live in Bridgeport tonight, Stephanie Simone, News 8.